um so thanks for answering that ju and uh, you know my next question just revolves around something that i am particularly interested about i've noticed and i've read that every interview has their personal favorite question interview questions right like even lon musk has this personal favorite question i think his his favorite question is that you're standing on the surface of the earth you walk a mile down south a mile on the west a mile north and you end up exactly where you started now a couple of questions on that question itself one uh, what's the solution because i couldn't figure out myself and the second how does this question exactly help you to understand the candidate a little better if you could just talk about that yeah sure i think i've kind of heard like different variants of that question back in the past right um but i think like uh, you know you know this question specifically you know when you look at it um uh i guess you know this is kind of when you when you think about the question intuitively in intu- intuitively right like uh, you know you when you in theory think about the earth like you know in general in our day to day lives we mm-hmm. we think about like the earth you know kind of our surface that we walk on just being flat right yes and uh, you know when you think about that like you know walking 10 miles you know south east and further up uh north right like uh, mm-hmm. and you generally won't end up in the same place right you know you think about like hey three kind of three sides of a square and then you are you should be like 10 miles 10 miles away from where you started off right like yes. but but then when you think about it more right like you know uh there are some points on the earth where you know you can end up at the same place and i think like uh, uh probably some things to look out for in this kind of question is like you know uh these are kind of non standard things that happen in life right and you will see mm-hmm. that in in part of the problems that you solve right so thinking kind mm-hmm. of kind of beyond the box thinking outside of the box is probably what you can probably get you know what kind of things that candidates go go out to kind of uh saying hey this this sounds impossible like you know should i just give up right like uh, or let me see what kind of potential solution i can find like you know think think about in ways that you know you know a normal candidate wouldn't think right those would be kind of ideas to kind of kind of things to look out for from the from the candidate's perspective right mm-hmm. um so since you brought up this question like you know that's that's a really interesting one and uh, you know if you kind of you know a general good answer or or one of the solutions for that is uh, you know just just begin at the north pole right like uh, and the kind of the north pole actually let me kind of share my screen here i know this is you know a version of this is going to be on podcast but uh, uh we'll probably also have like a kind of a youtube version of this so maybe it'll benefit some of those folks as well um can you see my screen here i can see your screen yes all right so kind of pulled up a um uh, rendering on google earth right so if you look at it right like uh, this is kind of the north pole right here right so you know one of the most common solutions for this is hey start at the north pole kind of go down 10 miles south you know go around any kind of latitude where you landed up right and go go 10 miles east and then you know go back up north and then you know you'll reach uh uh the same point that you started off at because mm-hmm. you know this is a sphere and then you start off at uh, at a point which is a unique point on the on the point of the earth right now that's the north pole right and that kind of leads you to answer right so that's you know a different way of thinking about it right but mm-hmm. then the other thing could be like you know is that it right like uh, could there be more other you know other solutions for this as well right like and there are a few interesting ones right so um if you kind of go down south right like so all the way down to the south pole right and um there are actually are infinite points uh on the on the surface of the earth that likely solve for that right mm-hmm. so first thing to notice is that let's let's kind of uh find out uh you know here's here's is a bunch of latitudes that we have right like uh mm-hmm. you will find latitudes on the surface of the earth probably very close to the south pole which mm-hmm. are uh, let's say 10 miles in in circumference right mm-hmm. so you know let's look at you know there's there's a kind of a latitude calculator that i pulled up right so 90 miles 90 degrees you know south or north you know the distance is like 0 miles obviously like you know if you go down 80 that's 12 miles like you know 81 this okay 81 81 is like 10 miles right mm-hmm. so what happens here is that you know you know 81 miles is probably going to be somewhere around here right mm-hmm. um so if you start 10 miles north of this right right and and that could be a point somewhere here come down south right 
and then you go 10 miles east right and just naturally this being exactly 10 miles in circumference you'll go down and then come back to the same point right uh, and then you go back you go back up and then you're at the same point right so that's I see. that's oh. one set of solutions so basically you can start at any point on a latitude that's 10 miles north of the latitude that's 10 miles in circumference and then you'll get an infinite number of points that can solve your solution right so that's yeah that's like another way to think about it right now if you take that down further right so that's like one kind of uh, thing in circumference that gives you 10 miles right so similarly right mm. find the latitude that's that's five miles in in uh, uh, in circumference like probably let's say 85 degrees south or something right Mm -hmm. Now go 10 miles up north, right? And go down south again, and you know, and then reach the latitude, let's say 85 degrees. That's that's five miles in circumference. Mm -hmm. And then rotate around that twice, right? So now you're again back at the same point, right? Oh. So it's it's you actually went 10 miles each. So, but you did you, you you did it, you did the whole thing twice. So you 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 went five miles in one circle and then came back another five miles. So now you travel 10 miles east and landed up at the same point and go back up, mm -hmm. right? I see so it. now you found Two set of solutions, right? One was ten miles in 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 uh, find a find a latitude that's ten miles in circumference, and you find something that's five miles. Then you keep on finding, find something yeah. that's ten over three miles, and then you rotate that three times. Three you times. Know, you know, and then you can find five, infinite five. number of such points. Exactly, right? So, exactly. um, so that's that's like you know the first one that we saw is like one set of solutions. The like, second one is like you know that's that does not pull right one one solution basically, right? Now you have a, a new pattern of solutions, infinite number of them, new sets of solutions, right? Maybe one other thing that you can also think about is like, you know, same thing that you went to the North Pole, right? You know, um, the same concept right there, right? Uh, you know, this is something that, uh, you know, maybe the audience can do some math and just try to figure out themselves, right? Where, mm -hmm. you know, let's say 81.5 was kind of um, the latitude can you start at a point maybe just south of the north pole like and if that's if the distance between that and this is 10 miles like maybe mm -hmm. you can do the same set of solutions here but just looking at this like you know it doesn't look like you know this this uh this is more than 10 miles like 80 81.5 is probably not more than 10 miles from this like just looking at the circumference so probably there isn't a solution but you know uh interesting exercise for the uh for the audience to go check this out that's very cool so basically the idea is whenever you're walking in one direction, you're theoretically going along the circumference, right? Yep. And that exactly. way you can have much. Oh, that's very cool. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I but I think so like uh, the question itself, if you think about it, right? Like it's, it's trying to look into, you know, you know, how much can you think outside of the box, right? Like, yeah. uh, you know, first thing it looks like impossible, right? And then mm -hmm. you found, Hey, there's one point, right? You know, then the question is like, you know, do you stop at that or do you go and look at like, you know, a great deal of good solutions out there and try to pick the best, right? Like, you know, mm -hmm. I think those are kind of qualities that you can kind of get from these kind of questions, right? Not just how to solve the problem in general, but, you know, just, just the, uh, uh, kind of the, uh, uh, uh the uh, yeah. attitude of, uh, the, the approach and the attitude of just going and, you know, just not stopping at one thing and just trying to find the kind of the best out there, right? Like, uh, mm -hmm. and that's something that you can look out for from questions like this, right?